a little bit of a flow, but um, obviously too many turnovers. Um, that's not going to get the job done, but I think just a lot of things to learn from. I, I didn't think we played well, and we had cut it to six in the third quarter. So um, I think that's a positive you look at. Like We really did not play a good game, but we were right there at moments, and then it kind of got away from us at the end of the third and fourth quarter. Um, didn't have the greatest start, so... I think just a lot to learn from. You know, it's the first one. There's going to be good ones. There's going to be bad ones. And, you know, like we said in the locker room, like we play on Thursday. You got to learn from it and move on and be ready to go. Got a front row on the left, too, Scott. Galen Chick, there's so much change going on in your world. How do you be the best version of yourself while adapting to so much change? Yeah, I think it's, you know, I think just going day by day and, you know, trying to do the best you can no matter what, obviously. You know, I would have liked to play a little better tonight. I think all of us would have, would say that if we were all sitting up here. And as a team, collectively, we would have liked to play better and, and shown a better product because I thought we've had some really good practices leading up to this game. But, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is just, you know, learn from it, move on. Um, you know, things are going to come fast. That's how it is. This, this season goes fast. There's 39 games left and plenty of opportunities to do what we want to do. But like Coach said, like, you have to be able to learn and watch it and, you know, that's the way to get better because there's only going to be so much we can do on the court tomorrow um, before we play the Liberty at home. See Ben, second row on the left. Hey, over here. Mm -hmm. um, Christy said that she felt like you guys got punched in the mouth um, mm -hmm. early on. I guess, Caitlin, do you yeah. agree with that assessment of, you know, the start? Yeah, for sure. I'd, I'd agree with Coach. I didn't think we came out. And, and I think also just, like, some uncharacteristic stuff, like, I pick up the ball and travel, I dribble off my foot, I pass it on the inbound, I, I turn it over. Um, so just a few things that are just, you know, you have to be crisper. Like those are situations where, you know, you're just giving the other team the ball. Um, I think collectively, obviously, you know, 25 turnovers is, is going to make it really hard for us to win. I, coach said they took 66 shots, we took 50. Like, you know, it's, it's really hard to win games when you give them 16 more opportunities than we had. Like, it would be impressive if we won this game doing that. So um, I think some were uncharacteristic. I think their ball screen traps and hedges were really good. And, you know, we didn't fill up collectively to help out whoever the point guard was at the time to, you know, give a passing angle. And we turned it over a lot there. But, you know, they also capitalized on a lot of the turnovers that we had. Like, in transition, you know, AT made great plays. They finished layups. They found open people, so um, not only were they turning us over, but they were capitalizing on those two. Second row in the middle. Caitlin, you talked a lot about gratitude mm -hmm. pregame. I think you used the phrase, how lucky are we, twice. Mm -hmm. I can, In spite of your disappointment, I can still see some mm -hmm. gratitude on your face. I mean, in spite mm -hmm. of that, I guess, what are your emotional takeaways from this game? Yeah, I think obviously I'm disappointed and nobody likes to lose. Like, that's how it is, but... I don't think you can beat yourself up too much about, you know, one game. I, I think I don't think that's going to help this team. I don't think if, you know, no matter who it is on this team, nobody can do that with how they played and just learn from it and move on. And, you know, I guess I'm just excited for Thursday to get back home and have our home opener. And, um, you know, I thought I, I thought it took me a little while to settle into the game. Um, I thought the second half was a lot better minus some of the turnovers, but, um, just getting more comfortable and that's just going to come with experience and getting getting to play with these girls and the more games I play the more comfortable I'm going to get so um yeah I mean we definitely need to have more assists too I think you, I can find my my post a little better as well was doing it they obviously doubled her um what did you see that made it so difficult for her in that yeah sense? yeah I mean we've got to we've got to help her out we've got to do a better job of coming back to the ball um we worked on that a couple times reading about this loss for you just you know there's just so much that we need to work on, and we just, you know, this league, it's not, um, it's not very kind to us right now with our schedule and what we have coming up next, and that was, you know, to have to watch video and not be able to go out and work on something. Um, that's, it's two different things. You know, you can watch, um, but it's just, it's different. So it's us trying to figure out how we can change and fix what we need to in 24 hours without a practice. Go back front row on the left. Uh, uh, you, ben, go ahead. Yeah, you, you mentioned that you know they punched you in the mouth. I guess why do you think they were able to do that early on? Yeah, well, that's that's who they are. The Connecticut Sun is a good team. Give them all the credit. My gosh, you know they've just got so many weapons. They hit big shots. Um, 
I'm, I'm just really looking forward to going back and watching kind of how, you know, we had some breakdowns defensively and, and how we were going to guard some of their split actions with the guard-to-guard -guard screens. Um, you know, you put Bonner at the four and you run a pin down with her. With Bantam, that's tough to guard. So, you know, there's just some things that they, because they're so talented, that they can do. Um, so we just got to get back to the drawing board, get back to figuring out, you know, how we can get those stops. Go back front row in the middle of the Howard. Coach, when you, you saw uh, out of Kelsey Mitchell tonight, uh, number one, how gratifying is it to see her? It seemed like she was able to get stronger as the game went on. And number two, to a lot of the problems you're alluding to tonight, how significant is getting Kelsey Mitchell at full strength to solving some of those problems? Oh, I think it's huge. I think getting her in. Um, but again, you know, she hasn't practiced with us. So that chemistry with her, you know, as a dynamic guard as well, like that's just going to take some time and we're only going to be able to get that in games. So, but yeah, really exciting to get her back. I think we went over like maybe a minute of what she was, you know, we were trying to keep her under. Um, but yeah, just really excited to get her back. Come back front row on the left, Scott. Yeah, Coach, how do you deal with, with in general now moving forward with length, with physicality for the entire team as you go up against that with maybe size difference? And then also, how do you maybe jumpstart offensively A.B. and what she's trying to do inside? Yeah, we've got to get A.B. some touches down there. Um, you know, we've got the spacers to keep them from getting a double team or a triple team. We've got to do a better job of, I think more comes to, like, if people are going to guard us the way they did tonight, which if I was playing against us, I'd watch this video and, and guard it the same. We've just got to make sure we are moving, we're getting off the basketball, and and we're able to get the ball inside to her because she's one-on-one -on -one in the post with them in those reds and those double teams. Front row on the right to Christy side. Hello, everybody. Welcome in here, friends, to The Truth Serum. Joey The Truth Wagner with you. Everybody, thank you so much for watching here this evening for the Caitlin Clark post-game press conference, everybody. Make sure to give us a thumbs up. Click that like button. If you are new, subscribe to the channel. As everybody, it was a historic night this evening for Caitlin Clark. Was not the result ho that her nor her team would want. A 92-72-71 loss. As she ended up finishing with <coughs> with 20 points total. But it was a shaky debut. The good, she scored 20 points. Bad news. Turn the ball over 10 times. Was a very, very rocky start for the star from Iowa who was drafted number one overall by the Indiana Fever. And looking here, everybody, it was a major... Uh, a major hyped event here for the WNBA. The crowd for the Connecticut Sun for this one tonight was 8,910. It was their first ever home opener sellout since 2003, which was the first home opener for the entire franchise. So Caitlin Clark definitely brought the eyeballs to... The floor, everybody. We will see if these eyeballs continue here. Everybody, we will see if all of this continues. And we will see how she continues to play throughout her rookie season. But her debut... Debut is sort of like how... It can be sometimes. The promise is evident. Scoring 20 points in your debut as a professional, that is nothing to sneeze at. The promise for the fever, the promise for Caitlin Clark, the promise for women's basketball is there. She finished 20 points, 5 of 15 from the floor. Like I said... The turnovers, not great. She ended up playing in a team-high 32 minutes. And everybody, next up for the Fever, I believe their next game is on Thursday for the Fever. And everybody, 
it's a major adjustment going from from women's college basketball to the W NBA. It is a massive difference, everybody, a massive, massive difference. And there will be growing pains. But she's a talented player. She'll get better as she gets more comfortable in the league. Like I said, 4 of 11 from 3. And we'll see how it goes with the Fever and Caitlin Clark. Everybody, thank you for watching her press conference and our reaction. Make sure to give us a thumbs up. Click that like button if you're new. Subscribe to the channel. And good night here from the Truth Serum.